Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. Soy Chayapoon. Yeah, soy pothole. I barely recognize it anymore. So many new things down here. Except for the, I guess the potholes. I, I recognize the potholes. But uh, yeah, really coming along. This is probably one of the most built up streets during the pandemic. Anyway, we he wanted to come by here and visit our friends. We're actually on our way to somewhere else where we will get to later in the episode. But meanwhile, uh, the previous night we went to a a, a brilliant cafe, brilliant cafe, kind of out on the outskirts of Patia, but we'll take a look at that. We we also had an unexpected visitor in our garden. We'll take a brief look at that and we'll see, I don't know, we'll see kind of how the town's coming back to life and some of the some of the wildness is returning. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Come back to the Paboon, Paboon Cafe. I was here briefly about four months ago, maybe. Just for a quick breakfast, we were on our way to see where Bike Week was going to be. Bike Week was subsequently canceled. Although I just learned today there's going to be one in Phuket in May. I can see a trip to Phuket might be in my future. Anyway. V's never seen the place. It's huge. It's gorgeous. Uh, one of the big lakes has been drained, but <coughs> there's a whole nother area right now. There's a whole new area adjacent to this. It's in the middle of the week, early in the night. They're packed. We're sitting inside in the air condition. Most people don't sit in the air. We're, I, there's only one other table in here. Everybody's on the roof. Everybody's sitting around the lakes uh, with the fish and the birds and all that stuff. But um, V was here flitting around getting some video and her hair got caught in flypaper <laughs> and she's got all the adhesive, that gooey, tacky adhesive in her hair so now she's got to go get that cleaned out. It's just on the tip. I think she'll be okay. I offered to cut it. On the way here we stopped at my buddy's house. They've got a great garden. I think V aspires to have her garden like this garden. I'll show you briefly. But theirs is all grown up. Big trees, banana trees, very established plants. And uh, well, V's is getting there. But their, their land's a lot bigger in fairness. But I think, I'm pretty sure that was the inspiration. That was the inspiration for her garden. But anyway, we've ordered a bunch of stuff. I got a, I got a crab curry. I can't get enough crab curry since I had that one in Udon Thani. I uh, got another crab curry coming. We'll try the one here. Uh, and whatever else. I don't want to eat too much because I, I want to get a dessert. They got some great desserts here. But the menu is page after page, laminated page after page, all sorts. They even had a T-bone steak for 320 baht. Not sure I would uh, expect too much out of that. Maybe a small one or maybe a low quality. I mean, usually a T-bone steak would be double that, easily double that. But uh, whatever, it's, it's whatever. So we'll uh, get something to eat. I'll show you around a little bit. We'll look at some of the other people, what they got to eat, and have a good evening here. So yeah, great place to spend an evening out here. Lots to see, do, and look at. But anyway, it didn't take long, and the food was starting to starting to arrive. They're wheeling out the rice first, and I guess the crab curry, uh, which is what I ordered, we kind of just shared everything. Though, look at that big old, big old mound of crab curry there. Big chunks of meat. These shrimp, uh, Yamunsen shrimp, good sized shrimp. 
And I like this. Look at this. The salad came. Uh, they ordered a Caesar salad in a proper wooden bowl. That's kind of what I'd be used to at a Western-style restaurant. Great dressing. Uh, so that was legitimate. Most things in the one to, one to 200, 250 baht range. I'll go over the total at the end for, for the four of us. That's some deep-fried frog right there. And chicken wings. We got a variety. I think in total we got about seven dishes. And the last one to arrive was that T-bone steak. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. So the T-bone steak, I'll show you the T-bone steak. 320 baht. It was a pretty legitimate T-bone steak. It wasn't the thickest T-bone steak, but it was thick enough. And I had uh, a lot of it. And the filet portion, you know, the uh, T-bone, you have a New York strip on one side and a filet on the other. The filet melted in my mouth. I mean, for 320 baht, that's probably the best uh, 300 baht steak in Pathia right there. Although technically we're on the fringe, we're just about outside of Pathia. We're probably only a mile from the region school here. But great meal. V got her hair sorted out. She got it all, she got it washed or put solvent in it or something, but the, the fly paper tackiness has disappeared. We might get some dessert. Total bill for the four of us, 1700 baht, not too bad. I guess over dessert, we'll take a look at our unexpected guest in our garden. I just saw a big green snake slither by. He's in this grass over here. He slithered right along this wall. I have no idea where he went. First snake I've seen in the yard. I don't know. Maybe he's down one of these holes or something. I'm trying to scare him out of here so he can get out of the yard. I don't know why I went in. He could have went in here. Oh. I don't know. V's at school. Got to be careful with these green snakes. It could be a, like a tree snake. I didn't get a, that good of a look at him. But he was probably about four or five feet long. It could be vipers too. Very poisonous. So you never know. So in the midday heat, I, I gave up. <laughs> I gave up fairly early looking for him. I, I just saw his tail. But anyway, I came back out a couple minutes later. And there he was. He had found his way into a hole there. I guess where the kind of where the foundation of the garage is, like a little hole. I don't know. That hole's been there. Uh, I think he just took it over. But uh, we had a little bit of a we had a little bit of a staring contest. I'm I'm really not that close to him. I've got the camera on maximum zoom, so that's why it's a little shaky. But we'll just leave him be for now. We've got other things to do. We're going to head down to uh, Soy 7 at my friend's place. There, there's going to be a bit of a shindig there tonight. So we, we came down a little bit early. We can take a look at take a look at the new bar. That's almost ready to open. Look at this place. That's the uh, hedonism. Wow, all lit up. Probably just a couple days away from opening. So uh, just putting the finishing the finishing touches on. So that's going to be a nice addition and bring some more bring some more ambiance to the soy. But the uh, the real party for the evening would be next door. <laughs> So one gentleman decided to, to throw a little bit of a party here. We'll go into that later. But in short, all the preparations were being made for that party, including getting the barbecue grill started. They don't mess around. Look at that blowtorch. But look at that, a whole pig. I don't know that I've ever seen sesame seeds on the pig before. I don't remember the one I ordered a couple months ago having that. But it is roasting away. So that'll be, that'll be the main course. When the guests started arriving, check out this guy. He's from Ireland. And he lives up close by the Jameson uh, Whiskey Distillery. And he's brought me this as a gift. Look at this. It's a wooden case and a Middleton Very Rare. This is, this is like a numbered bottle. I had to register it online with that number. It's all official. There's a certificate of authenticity in there. And uh, it's, it's very nice. I'm, I'm, I'm almost afraid to drink it. It's so pretty. It also comes with glasses. Look at this. Tr a legitimate uh, traditional type whiskey glasses. So... We'll, uh, we'll enjoy that. That was a nice gift. Very, very nice, very thoughtful. Thank you, buddy. So, we're on Soy 7 tonight. There's a gentleman from Newcastle, the UK here. He's been here for a couple weeks. I've met him, lovely guy. And tonight's his last night. So he's decided to go out with a, <laughs> I guess go out with a, one big blast. He's bought a pig. An entire pig, they're roasting the pig. He's bought some food, other random food from a local restaurant here. And he's gonna do some other things. He's got a drawing, he's gonna put all the girls' names in a 
I don't know, a, a little uh, bin holder, a little cup. And they're gonna pull it out, a 2,000 baht prize, a 1,000 baht prize, and I think three 500 baht prizes. And then, here's the kicker. He's got 6,000 baht, so that's about uh, 200 US dollars. And he's got it all in 20 baht notes. A 20 baht note would be about 60, 65 cents, so less than $1. Imagine if you had $200 in, in $1 bills, something like that. But he's going to throw those out and just let them, let them all go crazy for him. So it's kind, of a, it's kind of a wild night. We'll look at that. We'll have some food. We'll see how it goes. All the food was great. A couple young ladies won. One in particular won 2,000 baht. That's a lot of money here. Um, and there was a 1,000 baht winner, a 500 baht winner. They were all ecstatic. But when it came time to throw out the, the 20 baht bills, 6,000 baht of 20 baht bills. I told V, I said, uh, this is gonna be Bedlam in here. Help me film this. They're going to be going nuts for this. And she said, yeah, 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 I'm ready, I'm ready. And she started out. And then I'm filming and I'm looking through my camera and I see V on the floor grabbing for the 20 baht bills with the rest of the girls. I said, you're supposed to be filming it, not grabbing money. I guess she did it instinctively. But uh, they all had a great time. And uh, the gentleman from Newcastle is having a a class A uh, last night here, so I, I'm so happy to see things like this returning. It's uh, It's been a while since you've seen this kind of wild stuff going on here. It used to be kind of almost every night, but it's coming back. It's coming back. So V ended up giving her collected 20 bot notes to the to the lady who brought the pig she was she was roasting and carving the pig so she got to partake in the fun even though uh, v collected the notes for her. you know you can do anything you want with your holiday money here uh, this gentleman decided to, to make a lot of people happy and that's what he did he got lottery tickets in addition to the other stuff look at this he gave out i don't know how many lottery tickets a lot of people got one but lottery is a chance at six million baht for that winning number there's also a chance you'll get nothing of course but uh, i think that the people really like that even v got a lottery ticket and no hers did not win the drawing was yesterday but <laughs> anyway all thing all good things come to an end and uh, you know an early flight the next morning uh, trips come to an end like that so a little bit sad but anyway i've got to leave this one off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.